I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. So today, here we are, we're still at it trying to get this, uh, this pasture made. And we have plenty of uh, wood to burn up and, and plenty of, of uh, Yeah, we needed firewood and and the smaller stuff, a lot of the smaller stuff we're going ahead and burning. And some of the smaller stuff we're saving for the rocket mass heater. But anyway, Daniel is steady at it. Making little fire piles again. And our little old dog is out here just helping out, she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. Well, Daniel's already got the new toolbox put in his truck, and he's really enjoying that new truck today. And uh, been, we've been over to help neighbors and all kinds of stuff already with that truck. So, a lot of times, you, you just have to cut your brush up uh, small enough so you can handle it. And uh, so Daniel has a little chainsaw that he loves to use with that. You may wonder why I'm raking up more and more pine straw. <laughs> Well, the further I rake up pine straw, that's the more land that I have cleared to put that grass down on. So I'm pretty excited. We're getting ready to get two pretty big spots connected here. And so we'll have a little field already raked out. And uh, Daniel's taken out a lot of the trees, so it shouldn't fill back in quite as bad. Okay. Daniel's going to take out this standing dead wood. That was standing dead wood. And that makes great firewood. So Toby is going to throw pine straw on the fire. It just goes like a torch. Oh, oof. It's kind of like throwing uh, gasoline. gasoline on there. Yeah. So much fun. <laughs> We're just trying to pick up some of this pine straw. We, we gotta get rid of it somehow. And uh, every time we ask somebody to come do the pine straw and they're making bales so that they can send them all over for, what do they use them for? Around plants and, what do you call that? Mulch, yeah, for mulch. The, they come and they look at our property and they go, oh, I ain't doing that garbage. I guess because there's a little too much other stuff in it. This my property, a little large one. But there we go. Big flames. That's your pyro picture today. <laughs> oh, has been a handful today. It's taken at least three people to do this job because somebody's got to play with her. She has just been wound for a sound. And Daniel just scared her a little bit. And so she's being a little different there. As she, when we get out the camera, she calms down. But uh, until we go for the camera, she's just as wild as she can be. Jumping up and down, jumping up on you, jumping down, going around and around. And one time she found something to dig in the dirt, and I said, oh, thank goodness, the dog has got something to do. But nope, it didn't take very long, and she was done with that idea. She is just being a real ham bone today. Just a ham bone. Uh-huh. Couple of trees down. And we're getting some loads of firewood, too. So we're clearing our property and we've got our son Jacob from 
JC Studios helping today. He, JC Studios is a tech channel, but he does a lot of farm work too. And to earn his stay here, he does a lot of farm work. Along with going to college and doing his YouTube channel. So, and here is a, here is this tree. It was big old oak tree. We're taking out a few larger oaks so we can have more firewood. We're just, we're still catching up and thank goodness the weather has been really very nice. So, I mean, really very nice. I think it's, uh, it's probably, probably 55 or so today. Eh, maybe 53. But it's not bad. It's just not bad weather at all today. And so we're out here while we can getting this uh, wood done. The rams are really used to being in this area. So, and it's about barnyard nap time for them. So they've decided to lay as close to the fence as they could. And I don't know if I can get them. Here they are. Yep, right here on the other side of this post. We have us three beautiful rams that are getting really nice size. Very good sized rams. Um, these are wool rams. They're they're not hair sheep. They're wool sheep. And uh, they may be well. They're kind of mixed. These two are. These two are mixed. We'll land here. So we'll see which one they take after more soon. And here is their daddy over here who is a wool sheep. Let's see if we can get a picture of him. Yeah, he is a really good size, as you can tell. And he's not worried about moving or anything. He's a very friendly ram. He's worse than a dog. He'll come up to you and just demand attention just like your puppy dog will. And uh, these, these other two, though, are very shy, and they just, they're not really friendly like that, usually. But their daddy is just like a puppy dog. He is something else. Yes, you are. You are something else, aren't you? Cisco. We call him Cisco. And here's a little dog. She thinks she's going to get into this whole scene. She's pointing at the rams, but she knows she is not to look at my sheep. And so, she's acting like she's not doing something that she is. <laughs> she's being very careful. I can show you just how friendly that ram is. He, he's so friendly, he hurts you sometimes. <laughs> he not really mean to, but he does. Look at him. Jacob's having to... Oh, he's just after him. He's playing games now. He's such a ram. Oh, now see. Now if Jacob gives him just enough attention, then he'll be happy. And he'll go with him. And he'll go with him just about anywhere, and then the other ones will follow. And he's really... Quite the ram. All right, Cisco. Let's see if I can back this out a little bit for you. Good, good old ram. Yeah. For chasing me. yeah, you're a good ram, except when you chase. Yeah. And he's all red because we feed cayenne pepper in the feed. Yes, well, and quite often he'll get into it. Yep. All over his, all over himself. There we go. Okay, Cisco, we'll see you later. Okay. We just let him back into the area after. We've been cleaning all day. And his little boys are so cute. Well, they're getting quite big yet now. Actually, they're almost as big as him. He's a, he's a good looking ram. Yes, he is. 
And they're probably all kind of thirsty because they've been blocked out from the water. But Cisco really wants attention, see. That's what it's all about for Cisco. He's got to have some attention. You got itchy spots? You got a lot of pepper in your wool. He is something else. You got the pepper all in your wool. He says that keeps the flies off. Bye bye. All right then.